Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video uh, on building the front end with uh, Vue.js. So we were uh, in process of building this thing. In last video, we covered uh, register, login, and other uh, functionality. So in this video, we'll fix some uh, errors from previous video, and we'll continue building uh, like uh, this layout for cards since we have already the layout for boards so if you log in uh, you, you can see these boards but when you click these yeah, we need to make something like this so before that uh, we are still logged in but we can see this uh, register we need to strip out this and we also need to pull in the real boards inside this menu so that will be our next task so as you can see uh, here the url structure is slightly broken so let's fix that first uh, so first uh, let's go to app.view which is the main uh, component in which all other components are loaded and if you go to components and boards so from boards we are accessing uh, let's go back so from boards uh, this URL as you can see over here this URL is slightly broken so if you go to boards view here uh, so we are passing this parameter uh, which is the board ID but we are catching it like that so what we need to do is just change it to name so we are using named route in this case so the name of route is single board so single board I think yeah so in order to see route let's go inside router index yeah single board okay so now that should fix yeah so now you can see board id so in order to uh, cast this id and display it here uh, like we did in uh, we do in laravel we cast this by using request or input get so here the way you do uh, in vue.js is like so for example the uh, so single view is uh, single board so here you can display that id uh, inside let's display inside h1 so you can display like this route parameters id so now it is showing okay so uh next uh there is one issue so if you log out yeah so you can still see boards but when you go to home page yeah, it shouldn't show you boards so that is uh, that's what we handling from backend but uh, uh, user should redirect uh, so it should redirect you back to login page rather than just displaying the empty boards page so let's do that so uh, if you go to boards view so here if there is no token we can uh, redirect user to login page so if not token we will redirect you dot push to login so now it's redirect you best uh, back to login so with that fixed uh, let's jump into fetching this board and uh, in uh, while logged in it should so this boards and yeah it should so register though but it's run so this board navigation so uh, let's go inside app dot view so in order to handle that we need to make a variable so for now we can remove these items so these are uh, some dummy items are uh, coming for navigation and here uh, we can make a new variable uh, unlocked in so initially it will be false and and when component is created we'll check for that so we'll check for our token 
so so if we we got token we'll make this logged in f true from vaults so uh, that will work so we need to make it here as well so this is our menu and here we have to make v if so v if uh, logged in okay and now when someone logs in we need to make that uh, for uh, sorry yeah while logging in we also need to make it true so let's check if uh, how it is going for now so we are at login page and also let's make this for our register so if we are logged in we shouldn't show this register so let's figure out where register is okay here it is so here also we'll put v if so v if uh, here so negative of logged in. so it will if logged in is true it will make it false and vice versa so if we are logged in we shouldn't see router link register link all right so now let's log in okay so we are logged in but yeah but for, for some reason we do not see boards and we do not see so register is still showing so let's see what's the problem so if we go to app logged in is false so here is issue so here if you see uh, this uh, logged in when this component is created uh, it is checking for token and logged in equals to true so if there is token it is making logged in true so uh, that is taking place only once so it is not working as intended let's refresh okay so as user log in it will not uh, take effect so after after refresh it is taking effect so the problem is when uh, when we do login we need to fire a event to tell uh, tell this app component instantly that we are now logged in and you should make this logged in equals to true so this will only fire off if we refresh so when we refresh this created event will uh, created function will fire off and it will make this true so uh, so this is uh, the real life example of component communication so uh, when log in event says we are logged in we need to cast this event into our app and make user logged in so after logged in we'll emit event here so so we can do this uh, emit and name of event so logging okay so this uh, we can do this only if there is like uh, pa uh, parent and child component but uh, we want to make this event available for all components so uh, the way we do is we can go to our we can put it here main.js so uh, window dot event so we can create a, a global variable window dot event and say it new view instance so now what we can do is we can use this event emit yeah so now uh, this when we log login this event will be emitted and we'll catch this event inside our app so here we'll uh, catch that event so event dot on so on event named login 
so we'll fire up the callback function so here we'll make this dot logged in equals to true so as that event imitate login event we are making this true all right so this should work let's see for error no errors let's log out first okay we are logged out now let's log back in okay yeah this time you can see it updates instantly so we can do uh, same thing for logout as well so now if you see logout if we log out okay you can see here uh, this menu still persists so to make uh, it disappear instantly what you can do is same thing so let's go to logout view when someone logs out so after removing item we can do event dot emit logout also what we can do is uh, here so uh, this is related to another problem so if you refresh it again it will uh, send uh, ajax request even if you are logged out so what we can do is uh, if uh, we, are, we will only log out if there is token so if there is no token we will not even send this ajax request because we are already logged out so we'll return false okay now if you see we shouldn't get that error yeah we are emitting logout event and now we'll listen this event on logout so on logout event will make it false okay so that should work login okay there we go so let's log out again yeah so it disappears and it appears okay so uh, that is the component or uh, that is the communication between components so this is the app component uh, which consists of all other components so if any of uh, components uh, component want to make change to the top level uh, component it will emit event and the top level uh, component will listen for that event and make necessary changes required in this particular event so when uh, event is login so we need to make uh, the login equals to logged in equals to true and same for logout now that we are just displaying this board in uh, when we are only logged in so uh, now let's uh, pull uh, the board data inside here and also put a user uh, name and login logout links here uh, since this uh, this toolbar is in our app component but this board is it is in its own board component so we are loading data in our boards component uh, so now we need to pass this data to uh, upper app component so the way we do is uh, like uh, same we emit event with uh, data and we catch that uh, event with data so previously we just sent uh, we just uh, emit the event without data but in this case we'll emit it with uh, data so uh, let's take a look how we uh, can do that so uh, let's go to our boards component and here uh, we are pulling our boards so this is our boards so after pulling this we'll emit uh, our event event dot emit so uh, we'll name this boards loaded 
so we'll limit boards loaded event with our data this dot boards and we'll cache this uh, event and this boards data in our uh, app app dot view where our this menu bar is located uh, so uh, this is the list item and here instead of item we need to pull the boards and here I will give the name boards so it will be empty by default so here I uh, will listen for that event so event on boards loaded so boards loaded yeah and this event is passing us boards data so we will cast that here and then we'll make this boards equals to the board that uh, that event is passing us so as soon as that boards uh, those boards are loaded it will send the event uh, with this board data and we are assigning those to this object and here we are looping through those boards and we are getting data so let's check if that is working okay yeah so we are getting uh, the boards